Good morning, I'm John Perkins with the Opening Market Minute. Both soybeans and corn are showing some positive trade here this morning so far, continuing to watch dry weather forecasts for most of Argentina. That's expected to be an issue for at least the next week or so. Longer term forecasts also continue to look generally dry in many of their key growing areas. Some production potential on both corn and soybeans has likely been lost. The question at this point is how much. Brazil, in comparison, generally looks pretty good overall at this point. Wheat's mixed. Chicago's watching the chance for flooding in parts of the eastern Midwest. Kansas City has an eye on precipitation totals in parts of the U.S. Plains. And as for Minneapolis, they're watching the northern plains in Canada ahead of spring wheat planting this year. Live and feeder cattle are lower on profit taking and technical selling after a couple of days of mostly higher trade. They're waiting for widespread direct cash cattle business to get going. Fed cattle exchange results are out later today, and the USDA's monthly cattle on feed report is due on Friday. And hogs are higher on an oversold bounce with additional support from yesterday's higher move in pork. All the primals yesterday were firm to higher, including $2.17 gains in the loins and picnics. I'm John Perkins with the Opening Market Minute.